The items in this video are revealed in the order in which you encounter them in the game, so let's get things started by showing the first collectible in Act 1, which occurs in the game's prologue. The first collectible is located just steps from Marcus's cell. The crimson omen on the wall in the prison is your cue it's nearby. Just kick open the door to the cell on the right to find it. Be sure to get it before advancing down the hallway towards Anya. And now on to Chapter 1 and its four collectibles. The captain's announcement stirs Marcus from his nightmare. Don't leave his cabin without first taking the $20 bill from the counter in his room. You can pick it up during the opening credits or wait until they end. Exit Marcus's cabin and walk down the hall a few steps towards Dom's cabin. Don't get him just yet. First, enter the ship's sick bay on the left and proceed to the back counter. Dom's psych report is on the tray resting atop the examination chair in the corner. Baird's cabin is on the last room on the left nearest the stairs. Enter the room after getting Dom and take a look at Baird's workbench to find this list of parts needed to repair Jack. Get this cog tag on your way across the deck from the helipad to CIC. Note the crimson omen on the shipping container on the far left corner of the deck. The cog tag is hanging from the neck of a cog soldier on the walkway above. The only way to get it is to shoot it off his neck. Pick it up when it falls. And now on to Chapter 2 and its single collectible. Survive the sprint across the deck without being squashed by the shipping containers and enter the maintenance bay on the right. Don't let the excitement of piloting a silverback distract you from the silverback manual lying on the crate to the left. Now let's take a look at the four collectibles in Chapter 3, Homecoming. Walk the streets of Hanover towards the stranded outpost around the corner, but watch carefully for a poster on the left boasting the best breakfast in town. Kick open the gate beside this poster to find the journal on the ground inside the outdoor cafe. One of Hanover's students left her notebook in the playground near the slide. Kill off the lambent stalks and their glowy spawn, then climb onto the playset with the slide to find the collectible. The grocery list is located inside the Super Snack Champion store, atop one of the checkout lanes. Head down the aisles to the right just after fending off the initial polyp attack. Paper, plastic, or boom shot. Use the loader to kick aside the overturned locker, then hop off the loader in the area near the food supplies. Enter the manager's office on the right to find another boom shot, along with a cog tag on the desk next to the computer. Next up, the two collectibles from Chapter 4, Helping Hand. Follow the stranded leader through the camp past the target practice range and through the gate. The leader will continue to the left. Take a moment to explore the area to the right. Read all about Cole's retirement from professional thrash ball in the newspaper lying beside the shipping container with boom shot in it. This cog tag lies just outside the stranded camp near the docks. Wait for the stranded to open the gate for Cole, then turn to the left. Note the crimson omen on the brick wall. Continue past the wall, out onto the wooden pier to find the cog tag lying next to a corpse. And now, Chapter 5 and its three collectibles. Cougar Season Program is located on the upper level of the concourse on the path split outside the stadium. Head down the hallway to the fan store on the right-hand side. Players who take the lower path can ascend the escalator and get it also. Kill the Lambert stalks in the Gunker in the concourse area and proceed towards the south gate. Turn to the right and spot the neon-lit Stimo energy drink vending machine in the corner. The collectible is on the floor next to it alongside an ammo crate. Walk back across the thrash ball field after Cole scores the winning point against the Lambert. His championship ring is in a case on the ground next to the UXO shed. And now for the final collectibles in Act 1. The toll booth tokens are on the right-hand side of the center toll booth. Advance slowly and throw a frag grenade at the multi-turret inside the center booth. Take out the snipers on the barricade and the other enemies before looking for the collectible. Continue past the toll booth area and note the large red shipping container with a massive wooden crate inside it. Chainsaw or shotgun through the crate to find the bayonet on the floor of the container. 
The cog tag is on the catwalk beneath the lower deck in the area with the multi-turret, just beyond the toll booth. Quickly flank to the left and descend the ladder to reach the catwalk. Locate the cog tag behind the center support, then head up the ladder on the right to get the drop on the turret. Destroy the gas barge with the mortar and work your way back past the tentacle and the polyps on the lower deck to the ladders. Climb the ladders to the upper deck one final time, but don't head straight for the ticker container yet. First, walk around to the other side of the ladder exit to find this collectible. That does it for all the collectibles in Act 1. If you enjoyed this video and would like to learn more about the other collectibles in Acts 2 through 5, then check out the other Gears of War 3 strategy videos from Brady Games.